Anna from AllDIYCrafts.com and today I'm going to be making a Christmas stocking for my daughter's rabbit, uh, Malibu, and she calls Mally for short. And so what we're going to do is I found these little paw prints online. I, I um, just uploaded it to Design Space. It's a PNG file and I made them about two inches by two inches roughly. And then I put in the name Malibu, and this is done in a quirky font. But I'm going to show you how I did that. So I'm going to come over here, I hit text, and I'm going to add Malibu. Okay, and as you can see, it is all separated. And I know that I have about, uh, I can do about five inches by three inches or six inches by three inches on the stocking the white top part of the stocking. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to I have this selected. I'm going to go ahead and go to where it says a letter space and I'm going to bring them together. So that they're touching. And so once I have them uh, where I kind of like to have it, so right now it's at a, a minus 0.4 for quirky script, and I'm not going to do bold or anything like that because it, it gets really, uh, it just doesn't look good. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to hit weld. Okay, and let's see if I've got it. I'm going to go about probably, it's about, this looks good. I'm actually going to move this out of the way. I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to actually make uh, Malibu, I'm going to make her green. So I'm going to come over here where it has this little dot, and I'm going to change it to green. I'm using kind of a green glitter vinyl on that. And I'll go ahead and get rid of this one since um, we've already shown you how to do it. So <clears throat> this is about uh, six, uh, almost six by 1.7 inches, which is going to be just fine. And I have my little paw prints, and I'm happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and hit Make It. And one of the things I'm noticing is, because I didn't really want to waste any vinyl, is that I could actually put one more paw print here, um, which I'm most likely going to use uh, eventually anyway. Each stocking, I use about five paw prints. So I'm going to hit Cancel, and come over here. I'm going to hit Duplicate, and I will just put this here. And now I'm going to go ahead and hit make it. And now I have all my little paws here. Um, this particular uh, design in the black vinyl, I don't need to mirror um, because the design is usually, it's the same backwards or forwards. But here, where I'm going to be doing this lettering, um, I do need to make sure it's mirrored because I'm going to be doing heat press with the easy press. So I want to make sure that that is mirrored. If you are like me and you just don't want to mess this up, you can obviously hit mirror on both of them and you're covered. So we're going to go ahead and print this out and then we will start pressing. So as you can see, I'm cutting out Malibu. It's mirrored. I do have the shiny side down. And so as soon as we're done cutting, we'll go ahead and weed and then we'll go ahead and make our stocking. Okay, so we're back. So here is the stocking. I'm going to have it facing me so that I can work with it here. I have the easy press off to the side. It's set at 320 for 20 seconds. This is a glitter and it says Malibu. And our measurements worked out just right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this how I think it would look the best on the stocking. And I'm going to go ahead and press that down. I have an old Teflon sheet. I'll be getting a new one. Um, but there's a little bit of stick in there so on that Malibu, so I'm not worried about it moving around. And then we're going to have it go down for about 15 to 20 seconds. Okay, and it's actually a peel warm, this particular vinyl. So I'm going to go ahead and check it out here. And it looks great. What I also like to do is I like to make sure that the ends don't feel like they're coming up. And even if it feels okay, I'm still going to give it one more press for about 10 seconds. Just to make sure it's on there. <clears throat> okay. 
Okay, we'll go ahead and remove our sheet. And we will remove this. There you go. So now I have the five paw prints all cut out and I'm just gonna kind of lay these on, kind of see how they're gonna look okay. And like I said, I use about five paw prints per stocking. And what's great about these paw prints is they can be used for guinea pigs, dogs, cats, in this case, rabbits. So whatever you want. Now, don't overthink this because once you start overthinking your placement, um, then it really, it just doesn't, it looks like you've tried too hard to find the placement, just like I'm doing right now. It just doesn't, it doesn't matter. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep these here. I'll take these two off for now. I'm going to do these three at the same time. Now I'm going to use the same settings. And I'm going to push down. And then once we're done with this, these are also peel warm. So once these are done, I'm going to go ahead and peel these off and see how they're doing. And I'll probably repress them just to make sure that they're set. Okay, so we will remove these. Unless it's going to be a peel warm, they're still too hot. In the meantime, what we can do now. One of the things that you have to realize when you're doing this kind of stuff with the easy press and vinyl is the manufacturer is going to have their recommendations, but I've found that several times I won't do it as hot or I won't do it exactly. And you'll, you'll figure it out the more you do these kinds of crafts. Um, to give you an example, I think it was a print and cut. Uh, it's, it was when I set it, really it was a lot hotter than it needed to be set at and because of that um, the design almost looked cooked I mean it, it just faded it was awful so I when we do some of those I will show you how I do those they will be coming up so I'm peeling these very slowly they're very cool now I'm not going to press these down as much because I noticed that these did not appreciate it that much so I'm going to just for a little bit of extra protection, I'm going to cover these because they're going to be hit by the press and the Teflon pad. And I think we'll go for about 15, maybe 10 to 15 seconds this time. <clears throat> and then what we'll do is we will go ahead and seal it in. Okay, so these we already know are good. I just want to make sure. Make sure they're off again. We'll get our little puppy paws. And our last one. Oh, I'm sorry, rabbit paw. Oops, <laughs> I forgot. Sorry, Malibu. I just finished Chewbacca's. So, oops, you'll know this one came off a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we will put this on. We'll just use the Teflon sheet for these over here. And we will press it for a little bit longer make sure it's sealed in better so make sure you push down I use the 1001 1002 1003 method um, to about 10 to 15 depending on what I'm doing okay and then I will press it down one more time what's nice is even though these stockings were really inexpensive they're not fading with this heat which is great Always make sure that you go over it one more time with the Teflon pad. Just to make sure it's in there. Not much better. Okay, so now we have Malibu and we have Chewy. And so those are our little pet stockings. So these are little designs you can get started now. They're very inexpensive to make. Um, I'm probably gonna make one for my mom's dog, Buzz. Um, but yeah, so I think you'll really like this. So this is Anna from All DIY Crafts, and please, if you like the video, please subscribe and let me know in the comments what you would like to see with the Cricut or the Easy Press.